could also be the window to your thoughts. A Utah company has developed a new machine that uses your eyes to detect deception. Today, Utah law enforcement got to try it out along with some other equipment. Good for Utah's Tasmin Mafus was there. Law enforcement at the Utah Sheriff's Association say having the proper day-to-day -day equipment is necessary for catching criminals and keeping you safe. I'm on a Segway. This is a $12,000 machine and officers hope by using this will help reduce an officer's work. On top of high-tech gadgets, there was also a new state-of-the-art eye detector test called Eye Detect. The average human pupil is four millimeters and what we see is when um, when someone begins to lie that their pupils will dilate above um, their normal size for just a short period of time. Neil Harris is the vice president of Converis Inc., the Lehigh-based company which makes eye detect. The lie detector test is already being used around the world. Eye detect is a result of 15 years of scientific research at the University of Utah. The key breakthrough was the discovery that when the human brain lies, there's a physiological response, an involuntary response between the brain and the eyes. We caught Lieutenant Mike Peterson from the Cache County Sheriff's Office trying it out. He was asked to choose the number between two and nine. It asked me a series of questions. I was asked to lie about the number I chose, which I did. While Lieutenant Peterson was answering the questions, this black bar at the bottom of the screen took 60 photos per second of his eyes. It's a German-made, highly sensitive infrared scanner. I definitely lied. An eye detect got it right just by looking at his eyes. Lieutenant Peterson chose the number seven. An eye detect was able to figure it out. He says a test will help law enforcement in several ways, from pre-employment to investigations. When we're dealing with people that uh, we know are being dishonest, I'm sure that it'll work as a tool that'll help us determine that. But what if a person is nervous? Does it affect the test? Harris says no. This technology is very different than polygraph because it's not measuring emotional arousal. 16 indicators that we track in the eye. There's fixations, there's gaze, um, there's blink rate. Eye Detect successfully identifies deception with 85% accuracy, but soon, they say, that accuracy will be at 93%. Harris tried it 13 times at the conference, and Eye Detect was right every time. In St. George, the Smeen Mafus, good for Utah.